Hey guys, another video for you today. This one is all about my crested Bengalese, which uh, I purchased from a lady in Brisbane. Um, I ended up buying like around 20 Bengalese finches from her. So some of them actually could be related or most of them could be related, I'm not sure. But um, when I first got them and I was keeping them in this cage, uh, it got a little bit out of control. I put the nest box baskets in for them to obviously sleep in at night, but uh, of course they would start to breed very soon after that. And uh, they ended up having between them something like uh, 12 or 13 young. And they were actually all raising them together, which was really funny and interesting, but uh, they did make it work, but it was very, very messy, not recommended. And uh, the young obviously I took out once they got older and were able to eat for themselves. Um, there was an issue with the uh, difference in age with some of them because obviously there was always the last tiny one or two that um, wanted to join the older ones and jump out of their nest and they couldn't even fly so we had to always pop them back into the basket which wasn't much of an issue but I um, was just a little bit worried that they're not going to feed the young ones anymore and these are actually the parents of the young ones uh, that have come out previously so I haven't allowed them to breed again because I really do want to separate them and uh, mix them up so there's no interbreeding uh, too closely so I'll, I've got a strategy where I will pair them up with different uh, Bengalese from uh, other ones that I've had so I know they're not related and just uh, strengthen the blood and uh, some of the young ones I will be keeping and breeding once they're older and the rest I'll be selling so it's going to be interesting because I've got a few different colors uh, mostly chocolate pied but there's also gingers and chestnut so I gave them some seeding grasses earlier today and as always they're not really eating them as much as some more exotic finches would uh, but they're pretty much using it for nesting material so they're trying to build nest uh, having a bit of fun there Okay, and then in this cage are the all the young ones from the crested adults that I bred. Uh, so all the babies that came out of them went straight into this cage uh, so I could make sure that they're not uh, mixed with any others. And I know exactly what I have here. Two of them uh, did not come out with any crests, like that one that we can see on the bottom of the screen in the middle, which is a ginger pied it's got a white cap on its head and uh, as I mentioned before quite a few of them are chocolate pied but also we have um, chestnut colored ones and almost like a, you know close to a silver sort of color but uh, some of them at the moment they are actually in the nest boxes just all gathering because it's getting quite late and they want to go to sleep because they're quite early birds when they want to go to sleep they actually go in pretty early so there's the one there which is the uncrested the, sorry the not non-crested version quite a nice looking uh, bird that one
And then on the right there, the chocolate hide in the center and left uh, chestnut colored ones. I do very much like the finch on the left there, the very light colored uh, pied one that uh, looks like a chestnut but it's more like diluted in color, very light.